Hello, my name is John Gabriel, and this is the New Calculus Channel. What is an invalid logical disjunction? Well, I'm about to show you in this video something that you've probably seen many times but never thought about. Something that is actually quite wrong, which not only your mathematics teachers use, but also your professors and they've been using it incorrectly for as long as I can remember. It's called a logical disjunction. Well, in fact, it's invalid, an invalid logical disjunction. Let's see what this is all about. Is it ever valid to write 3 is less than or equal to 4? Think about it. What does m is less than equal to n actually mean? Well, let's see. <clears throat> it means either m is less than n or m is equal to n. Right? So one or the other. Now, if you write m is less than or equal to n, that's perfectly correct because Neither of, them are no, neither of them are known. In fact, it would still be correct if m was known or n was known. But if both of them are known, it's not correct. So let's find out why. <coughs> right. So 3 is less than or equal to 4 means either 3 is less than 4 or 3 is equal to 4. 3 is equal to 4? Can that ever be possible? No, 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 no. 3 can never equal to 4. So the OR part of that logical disjunction is redundant. It's not possible. Okay, 3 is less than 4. It is never equal to 4. You can write 3 is less than, but not 3 is less than or equal to 4. Because that is what that sign, that inequality sign means. It means 3 is either less than 4 or 3 is equal to 4. Now, if you said 3 is less than or equal to x, that would be perfectly acceptable. Or if you said x is less than or equal to 4, that would also be perfectly acceptable because we don't know what is x yet. But in this case, that logical disjunction is invalid because there is no OR. 3 can never equal to 4. So, I know that your moron mathematics teachers and professors have been using it, but it is wrong, okay? Please don't do it. Don't do it anymore. Use it correctly because the more you use incorrect concepts, the harder it becomes for you to understand mathematics and to acquire a very deep understanding of the subject. In any logical condition, all the conditions must be possible. They do not all have to be true, and they're usually not in an OR statement. They only have to be possible. There is no OR in this logical disjunction. 3 is less than 4. It is never equal to 4. Okay? Can't be equal to 4. So, it's an invalid disjunction. Be careful when you use logical disjunctions. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little presentation. I don't mean it to be that long, so join me again next time in another interesting YouTube video. This is a new calculus channel, and I'm John Gabriel. Goodbye.